next morning, we take the early express to Shanghai. It's an overnight journey of 1,100 miles. Recently, a train on this route was delayed 40 hours by a landslide. If this should happen again, I miss my boat connection from Shanghai and Tokyo. But Basil and I leave full of hope. There are class divisions, even on Chinese trains, and we are in the one they call soft class, reserved for top party officials, generals, and successful businessmen. You want the bottom of the top? This is room two. I'd just like to sit down for a moment, Basil, and collect myself, but uh, right. I'll go up on the top. The majority of passengers face the 35-hour journey to Shanghai on wooden benches, whilst us softies enjoy good food and faintly Edwardian luxury. <laughs> I see you are going on a journey, Basil. <laughs> Not very far. It will be extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> 由十一号车厢旅客点播的歌曲，《黄土高坡》。This is yet another class, intermediate. They all look like seasoned rail travellers, settling neatly into very little space. They all seem to have things to do. This is friendly class, this is. One lady wanted to practice the English she'd learnt from the BBC World Service. Where do, where do you live? I live in Shanghai. Yes. The people who are travelling in this... Uh, Car here. Would they all be going all the way to Shanghai? Uh, yes. Where are you travelling? Are you going back uh, back home? Um, I will first. I will come back home. You know, I'm stay in Shanghai and living in Shanghai. Yeah. And then I will meet my sister. And Your sister. Then, Hello. Yes. How do you do? Early next year, I will leave, leave Shanghai uh, to study in the Australia. In Australia. Australia. The Sydney Australian College of English. You you're going to Australia. Yes. <laughs> 